Hi everyone, welcome to the series of videos on Confusion Metrics and its acronyms. Well, the Confusion Metrics is one of the most simple and easiest metrics used for finding the correctness and accuracy of the classification model. Now, what is the classification model? So, classification is a supervised machine learning technique where we will predict the class. For example, in case of tightening data set, we predict whether the person will survive or not. In this case, there are two uh, predicted class, 0 or 1, survives or does not survive. In case of iris data set, we will have we will have to predict the species of flower, and it, there we will have we will predict three different categories: setosa, virginica, and vesicula. There can be even more than two, three. In case of email, we can have four classes we need to predict, like whether the email is a spam or a genuine or it's a social or it's a promotional thing. In order to make it more understandable, what I can say in the field of machine learning and specifically the problem of statistical classification. A confusion matrix is also known as the error matrix. It's a uh, specific table layout that allows visualization of the performance of an algorithm, typically a supervised learning one. Now, each column of the matrix represents the instances in a predicted class, while each row represents the instance in an actual class or vice versa. The name stems from the fact that it makes it easy to see if the system is confusing the two classes that is commonly mislabeling one as another. This is the very first video of this series and and in this video, I'll cover the how to identify true positive, true negative, false positive and false negative for, by, for a 2x2 two two matrix. It will be very simple, but when it comes to 3x3, three 4x4, three, four four, it will be difficult. So what uh, in this in this uh, series or in playlist we will cover, which will, be, which will have true positive, true negative, false positive, false negative, followed by the sensitivity, specificity, type 1, type 2 error, accuracy, error rate, precision, recall, F1 score, rock curve and AC curve followed by correlation coefficient. So let's start with the building blocks of confusion matrix. So if you can easily identify uh, true negative, false negative, true positive and false positive, then 90% of the battle is won. So let me explain what is true positive. It is nothing but the predicted value, the model which is predicting and the actual value are both one. Uh, true negative is model uh, is predicted zero and the actual value is zero. In other words, we can say true negative is an outcome where model correctly predicts the negative class. False positive is that uh, value uh, predicted value is one, whereas the actual value is zero. And false negative is predicted value is zero and the actual value is one. Now, to make it more uh, understandable, let me explain you how to identify this value. Okay, we have this two by two matrix with us. Okay, and now we will identify. First of all, we will see zero is equal to zero, which will be true. Now, zero, we can also say that zero can, can also be said as negative. Okay, and one can be said as positive. Okay, and now zero is, equ is equal to one true or false which is false and one is equal to zero false now one is equal to one which is true now after like here what we can say zero this is the value here it's zero right so instead of zero we can say negative or we can say true negative now false here here we have false right and we have one so and one can be replaced by positive false positive or we can say fp now we have one here and we have zero here and negative so we can say false negative or we can say fn and we have true and positive true positive right so we can say p p true positive so this is a very simple way like for a two by two matrix how to identify the acronyms like true positive true negative false positive false negative but when it's come to three by three matrix for each or more for each uh, different class we have to find the value like i'll show in my i'll be showing this now Okay, now we can see this is nothing but a 3 by 3 matrix. So in this 3 by 3 matrix, how to find all these values, true positive, true negative, false positive, false negative. So so, so from 3 by 3 classes towards uh, or more, uh, when you have more predictive classes uh, where it is equal to 3 or more, then the approach will be different. So what we will do, we have to find the, for each different class, we have to find true positive, true negative, and false positive, false negative. So what we'll do if for suppose we want to find it for the class zero. So what we'll do, we'll say like this. We'll for class zero, we will uh, draw a straight line and also a, a vertical line and a horizontal line. Okay. Now this is the class we want to predict. So this will be directly your true positive. Now whatever line which is not covered, that will become your true negative. True negative. True negative. True negative. Now, what was the definition that I gave you about true negative? True negative is an outcome where the model correctly predicts the ne negative classes. 
so whether it's it is predicting z1 or 2 we are not bothered we are bothered about 0 so those are the negative class okay we are left with 1 2 and 3 4 so if you see this line okay the actual value value was 0 but the predicted value was 1 so in that this case this will be false negative and this will also be false negative now in this what is false negative what what, what did i mention about the false negative predicted value is 1 and actual value is 0 okay so here in this case the predicted value is 0 but the actual value is predicted 1 or 2 so this will two be, will become my false negative now these we are left with these two these two will be actual value is 1 but the predicted value is 0 so this will become false positive and this will also become false positive uh, how to find the uh, true positive true negative false positive false negative for a 4 by 4 matrix okay. so this is nothing but a 4 by 4 confusion matrix now for a 4 by 4 confusion matrix if you want to find the class 0 okay so in now we will not find the class 0 because we have uh, i've already shown how to find the class 0 in 3 by 3 matrix so i will show you how to find the class 1 here so if you want to find the class 1 you draw a horizontal line and then draw a vertical line okay so this is nothing but your true positive now the rest everything will become your true negative true negative true negative true negative true negative true true negative true negative and true negative now we are left with these values these and this the actual value what are we now we are working for class one right actual was value was zero but the predicted value is one so this will become your false positive predicted value this will also become your false positive and false false positive okay here the actual value is one but the predicted value is zero this will become your false negative false negative and this will also become your false negative so this is how we can get the True negative, true positive, false negative, false positive for the class one of a four by four matrix. Now, if you want to find uh, how to get uh, these terms for the class three, so how do we find this? Again, a four by four matrix, and in this case, what we are concerned, we are we we are concerned about finding the all the terms for three by three matrix. So, what we need to do, as usual, you draw a vertical and a horizontal line for class three. So, where they intersect, it becomes your true positive, and this everything, and here these one, two, three, these blocks, okay, these block, this full block will become your true negative. Which class we are going to predict? Three, right? So. Actual value is 0, but the predicted value is 3, right? Here, here is the thing. So, this will come your false positive, false positive, false positive. And these three class will become your false negative. Because actual is 3, but the predicted is 0. False negative and false negative. So, similarly, you can just, if you want to find the, for the class 2, you can draw a line here and exclude and follow the approach. You can get it easily. I am trying to explain all these because when you find the specificity and sensitivity, it will not be just one uh, for a two by two matrix. It will be just one specificity or sensitivity. Sensitivity, but for a, a four by four or three by three three matrix, it will be for each specific class. Now let me explain it for a ten by ten matrix, and then we'll wrap up. So this is nothing but a ten by ten matrix. In this case, what you need to find, suppose for the class five, we want to find the uh, the term space. Uh, uh, true positive true negative false positive false and negative for the class 6 so what we need to do is we will draw a horizontal line so this will become my true positive and this entire thing this all these values if you sum up this value okay this will become my true negative even these things here will be my true negative this will be my true negative and again these things will be my true negative now so two terms we have found already found a true positive and true negative my actual value is zero but my predicted value is six so here except this cell all the values in this uh, column will be false positive 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 and false positive we are left with this line so this line x everything like whatever uh, we are predicting and said different thing like we have we, the actual value is 6 but the predicted value is 0 1 2 3 so everything will be from here false negative false negative false negative false negative false negative false negative and except this line this for uh, true positive uh, cell this will be false negative false negative and false negative this is how based on any dimension of the matrix if we know visually how to find our true positive true negative we can find anything and it will be of it will be very easy to implement if you don't know visually like what you are doing then it is very tough to implement
tough to implement so in the in, uh, so that's where our next video will is based on so in our next video what i will do i will show you how to mathematically uh, calculate true positive true negative the values of this and then we'll use this to calculate a true positive rate true, uh, true negative rate false positive rate false negative rate